Hello there guys and welcome to our 45th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about um, structures once again. As you see here from our previous tutorial we have our structure created here, a student type. This tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about how we can use the variables in our struct. Alright, so let's go ahead and waste no more time and let's go ahead and get started. We, as we want to keep this tutorial as short as possible and to the point. So. All right. Now we want to create a value, uh, a variable uh, of the uh, a variable name of that struct. So to do that, let's call the, we call the name of the struct student type. And I'm just going to simply call this variable just a, a name of a student. So let's say Jim. And let's have another student also. So to to create another student, let's have student type. The only the reason we're using the struct name is because we want uh, the student basically Jim here in this example to have um, to be able to use all the all the attributes in here so and let's have another one let's call him Sam alright what do we want to do now so let me just type here Jim and let me set last name here I want to set the last name equal to I don't know Smith maybe and this is a string so let me set this equal to Smith and also let's set uh, I want to set Jim's uh, I also want to set Jim's last um, uh, not last name here let's go ahead and set his um, test score so his test score let's say he got a 95 on it and that's an int type and then let's also set his GPA so his GPA let's say is 385 uh, Alright, now let's have our second student here called Sam. And let's set his last name also. And let's make his last name, I don't know, Sam. Uh, Sam anything, I don't know. That doesn't matter. And let's also have Sam's GPA here. And let's make that. 378 or anything you guys wish and let's also have a Sam and let's let's put his uh, letter or his uh, not his test score let's put his letter grade score so his letter grade let's say he has um, A alright so now we have his letter grade also now let's go ahead and print these things out. So let's have a bunch of C out statements here just so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and print out Jim's last name and and also let's go ahead and print out Jim's test score and also his GPA. two end lines here just to make it look a little bit neater and I put let's print out Sam's now. So Sam last name and also let's print out his um, GPA so Sam the GPA and let's put an end line there and also let's print out Sam's uh, letter grade. So Sam letter grade should be a letter grade and let's put an M line and another M line alright so let's go ahead and see what, what we did here so what we did here is we created two um, two instances of this data of this truck here and we call them I call them Jim and Sam so this would be two different types of so this would be two students uh, two individual students for the first student I'll, I'll call him Jim and then I said his so I called uh, to call uh, basically the variables located inside the struct here in our structure. All we do is just type the variable name, struct variable name, which is in my case is Jim here, and I, and then by the dot operator here, and then we can set the last name, and then the test score, and then the GPA, and vice versa. We do the same thing for for the other student, which is Sam. So we're setting this equal to different attributes. So once, so what what separates this? Um, how we keep track of all of these last names and of so uh, basically, 
what so basically we're we're calling the same test score or sorry the same last name twice here one for Jim one for Sam why um, and with only one variable we declared up here the reason why these are different is because of the variable uh, of the class of the struct variable name which is different so those are stored into 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 different uh, uh, memory spaces in memory so that's what and so down here we're doing the same thing we're setting uh, last Sam's last name GPA and letter grade and down here we're just printing them out so let's go ahead and build this one and once we print it out we should get everything we type there so we do get here Jim his last name was Smith and uh, let me put this down here so you guys can see and also his GPA was 95 I'm sorry his last his test score was 95 as we said here and then his GPA 3.85 and then Sam's last name we set it to anything and then his GPA and then his letter grade so that was how we can use the basically the variables inside the struct here guys and next tutorial we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more advanced tutorial about um, uh, structs so stick around for that tutorial guys and Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, guys, please do that. It truly means a lot. And if you uh, and if you haven't um, uh, rated the videos or watched some other videos, guys, go ahead and do that as well. Leave comments. That truly gives me a lot of feedback in the sense that I know if you guys do like the videos or not. So, again, don't forget to subscribe and rate the videos and leave comments. And thank you for watching this tutorial, guys, and stick around for more. Thank you for watching.